Suffice it to say you believe in ghosts, I'm assuming. I do. And what's really funny is like with her in particular, I'll smell her perfume sometimes. I don't know if that happens to any of you guys. Like suddenly we'll smell a perfume that isn't like I'll be in my office and I'll smell. And I feel like she's there, you know, saying hi or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen a ghost personally, but I know in, in my childhood, my mother used to tell me that I would see things and talk to people and I'd be like, you know, talk to like yeah. other people. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I did. I don't, I don't recall it though. Anyone uh, else? Anyone yeah. else deal with that? Uh, not myself yeah. personally, but my son, when he was younger, about four or five years old, he had an imaginary friend uh, named Pierre. And there was, and we lived in a housing co-op at that point. And there was a little boy named Peter that had been involved in an accident. He was out riding his bike and had been run down and he lived in this community. Yeah. So then Zach would start acting out and it's like, what are you doing? Well, you know, Pierre told me to do it. Like, and after a while I was like, okay, kid, this is just creepy. Like, just stop, please. Yeah, that's weird. Oh my god. Because, yeah, wow. that's the point. Yeah, we used to see weird things. We definitely experienced some weird things in that unit. Mind you, I was taking over the counter sleeping pills at the time, so I was definitely in that fugue state. Um <laughs> no, we've got we, we had a friend come and do uh a smudging, burn the sage, and uh I, nice. native traditions to cleanse the house because I was starting to get Clear a little bit out. Out. <laughs> Yeah. 